Hello YouTube, this is your boy Director Kim and this is the final part of our recent tutorial, I mean this is the part 2. Now uh, I already told you about the tips that I show you but uh, in these videos I'm only going to show you how to use those tips and how to play it as a professional colorist through those. I'm not going to do a, any complications, color grading stuff, I'm only going to do a simply and you know very perfect and simply. As I mentioned to my lesson tutorial, uh, three tips which I was talking about um, split the first was a film codec and the split tones and then how to saturate subtract to saturating using color space hsv i'm going to make a node for film lats appliance which is codec uh, 50d that's my favorite and then i'm going to add just an exposure correct perfectly and this picture is because it's very super flawed that's why i construct first and then i'm going to control exposure just like that and then after that is it because I never convert a Rec 79, I never just did its color space transformation, which means our footage is very, very flawed. It doesn't have any saturations. Even I'm going to use HSV, it's going to, you know, it's going to crash my color. So I'm going to increase saturation, which is normal saturation, as you often know. And then I'm going to balance the pictures. Um, sometimes I prefer to use war balance. Sometimes I use split on, but I like split on. I all I really I told you about the split on. I'm going to drag a DCTL plugin and then I'm going to choose a DCTL balance code, which is I'm going to collect just like this, and it's, it's very amazing. So, after that, I'm going to add a HSV saturation. How to add this, I already mentioned before. I'm going to a uh, color space right there, choose a uh, HSV color space, and then I return again by right and click. And then I'm going to gamma to select the channels, which is the first channels I'm going to turn it off and then the second channel i'm going to to switch it off also i leave it at uh, the second channel which is allow me to go to my gain and increase saturations through hsv and then after that what i'm about to do is just a uh, u adjustment i'm going to use adjustment make uh you know twisting some uh colors like i want my blue to be a bit of a tear and then fixing my skin tone if i see it doesn't balance properly and then just like that after that i'm going to quality my skin here is about to you know make a vivid you know to make a skin tone more popping more fabulous more perfect so what I'm about to do in here and I'm going to seek my skin tone until it I see it's perfect and then it desaturate the skin tone because I don't want the skin to be oversaturated and then what I'm about to do is controlling exposure the skins I have to balance this ex skin exposure to make it linear is to make it look uh, all over the stuff looking the same in the shadow of our skin and uh, brightness of our skin is to be on one level and then i'm going to twist it a bit just in a curve just like that you see the way they look it's look a very 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 perfect and then after that i'm going to make a bit of a look you know like i'm playing with my will to make that film stuff you know i'm going to play with my leaf i uh, push it up to, to the green part or the tear part and then i'm going to play with my gain also push until there but after you're doing that you say your pictures is kind of you know it's kind of you know mess up a little bit so what i'm about to do is just reducing uh, our intensity of our pictures and then after that what i'm about to do is just uh you know because i see there's uh, some some stuff of a uh, greenish or tear stuff to my shadow so i'm going to my shadow wheel and then I make I make another node which is going to be a you know will node and then I'm going to play with the my shadow so the opposite of a greenish or tear is already all magenta so I'm going to play stuff in there to fix my shadow and then after that what I'm about to do is because I see my highlights is very very colorful sometimes I kind of like the living like that you know you have a super warm or sometimes highlights but in this picture it's because I don't want super 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 cinematic look so what I'm about to do is just I'm going to cutting down the color from highlight just like this i'm going to use a curve luma vest saturation to the highlight port i'm going to drag it down just like that to see everything sit properly i think the look looks very very fun so maybe sometimes i often like to do glow sometimes aliations just sfx is going to be applied after you do everything let's see your pictures before and after how they look 
more perfecto. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you got something. I hope you understand something what I was just told you guys. Even my listen part and this part, it's very huge. And I'm so excited. Most of you guys bought my loot. My loot is still available in this month. But the next month, I'm going to present another loot, which is you go stay in tune with me. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, be, click the bell button. Tell other people that there is a Kim, which he does most of beautiful tutorial. You have to subscribe for him. Thank you.